The pandemic hit, which caused great trauma across the community and needs skyrocketed. At the same time, we had more folks leaving just because they were getting very burnt out. It's a serious problem plaguing the Bay Area. More people needing help with their mental health and not enough professionals to go around to provide it. Experts say the situation is now really at a crisis level. Uh, that shortage of mental health professionals is affecting schools, hospitals, and nonprofits all over the Bay Area. ABC 7 News reporter Luz Pena spoke to experts who say this is the worst shortage they've seen in decades, Luz. That's right, mental health professionals are reaching a breaking point. Experts were sounding the alarm before the pandemic, but now the need is even greater and the shortage is only increasing. The exodus and lack of mental health professionals is alarming experts throughout the Bay Area. The most difficult workforce shortage that I've seen in 30 plus years in this field. David Mineta is the CEO of Momentum for Health. They serve more than 4,000 individuals experiencing behavioral health challenges in Silicon Valley every year. Mineta's team is seeing the challenges to attract and retain mental health professionals firsthand. It takes us a longer time to hire a licensed clinician. In that extra time, that means the existing staff have to see more people. Their data shows communities of color are experiencing the biggest shortage. What led to this? You know, a lot of things. It's, uh, as we know, it's very difficult. I mean, it's a very high cost of living area. Uh, a lot of the graduate schools got smaller. So the pool just got smaller. And now you see with the baby boomers, they're all retiring. A report by the Silicon Valley Institute for Regional Studies found that approximately 25% of students earning degrees in behavioral health plan to stay in Santa Clara County. And another 25% say they may remain in the Bay Area. The biggest roadblock is the cost of living. What we need are higher competitive rates. We knew we had a problem before the pandemic. There were more therapists and substance use counselors and psychiatrists and peer counselors that were retiring or leaving the profession then were coming into it. The shortage of mental health professionals is also impacting the legal system. We have uh, clients who are spending sometimes months longer than they need to in mental health facilities, locked uh, psychiatric facilities and hospital wards because the doctors agree they could be safely in the community with adequate support but there aren't the mental health professionals available to work with them. Experts are now urging the government to intervene. Turning their attention to this issue is that's how this gets solved. And the federal government is working on incentivizing future mental health professionals with loan payment programs and stipends for internships if you go into the behavioral health system. But experts say that's still not enough. The need is great. Luz Peña, ABC 7 News. Remarkable how widespread the impact of this is. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks so much. You can find uh, help for mental health and other issues online. We put together a list of local resources at abc7news.com slash take action.